So last time I spoke with you, I talked a little bit about Facebook privacy fails. And one of the things that I get asked quite a lot at conferences certainly is what we can do to help protect our privacy online. So today I thought I'd go through five apps and hacks and tech that I use or that I've looked into using to help you secure your privacy online. The first piece of software I want to tell you about is this free piece of software called Ghostry. And you can download it on the Google uh, Store, and it's basically either for Macs or for PC, and it alerts you about um, all the different networks and widgets and tracking that, that goes on in any individual website. So when you have it on, you can see in the corner all the different things that are tracking your behavior, and then choose whether you want to have the tracking on or off. So that could be something like, for instance, Google Analytics, whether that's... Um, being used or it could be anything from like Facebook Connect. Uh, so it basically shows you a list of all the different platforms that are trying to access your data on that specific site. The second piece of software that I use is Adblocker. Now I did donate to the person who created it because I think it's frankly absolutely fabulous and it stops you from getting all these annoying ads on every single page that you visit, including things like Facebook, Hulu, YouTube, um, Google Ads, um, I think, I'm not sure if they've, they've updated it, but basically it really, really helps get rid of all that clutter so you don't have to be bombarded when you go online. The third piece of kit that I want to tell you about is Off Pocket. Now, Off Pocket was a Kickstarter project that completed in August 2013, and essentially what it is is a really cutely designed Faraday cage for your phone. Now, a recent study found that with just four bits of data points from location-enabled tracking cell phones, which is basically pretty much any cell phone, people were able to identify 95% of identities of those who are being tracked. So what this Faraday cage does is essentially stop your cell phone from being trackable either through GPS or through um, any kind of Wi-Fi signal, and it basically stops people from being able to access when you're out and about. The fourth thing that I want to tell you about is Threema. Now, I recently found out, as we all did, that WhatsApp was acquired by Facebook. And the reason that I was using WhatsApp was because it was easy and all my friends were on it and it's a free, cheap way to get in touch with people. Now, the problem with that is that Facebook, as I've mentioned, have got a seriously difficult background when it comes to privacy. They're not great at it. And in fact, that's the whole business is based on your data. So I've switched from WhatsApp, I have now moved to Threema, and it's a secure mobile messaging platform which has end-to-end -end encryption, and basically even the people who operate the servers don't have access to read your messages. So I don't think any of these particular platforms are 100% secure, but it's certainly a step in the right direction, so I'll put the link to that in this post. The fifth and final item that I want to tell you about is Blackphone. Now, Blackphone encrypts your calls and your messages, and it protects your radio things, such as Wi-Fi, etc., from being logged as you wander through the streets, which is particularly useful. Now, it's not NSA proof. It can still be accessed by the NSA. So if you want to do that, you might be better off using Off Pocket to turn it off, at least while you want your, while you're wanting your phone to be inaccessible. But if you have what's called the Silent Circle membership through Blackphone, um, and the person that you're calling also has that membership, then that's the best way to protect your calls. So these are just some of the ways in which you can help secure your privacy online. I hope you find some of these items useful. If you've got any comments or any items that you think hacks and tech and apps that you think I should mention, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for these and uh, I look forward to hearing from you.